Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. You are going to fall in love with this eye look. And I've used a few things that you wouldn't normally use on your eyes, okay? And you'll be surprised at what they are, but I think you will like it in the end. You should try it. Just don't knock it till you try it, as my mama used to say. So try it. I think you'll like it. And just hang with me and come on and let's do this. Okay, I really enjoyed doing this the other night on Ladies Night. We have such a good time there. You should come join us. It's on Facebook. It's called Unique by Melissa. And on Thursday nights, I do lives. And I just come up with something and I do it on the fly. It's something I've never done. So that's what I did this past Thursday night. And that's the reason I want to show you this. But I'm not going to do all one color. That was all monochrome. I'm going to kind of mix it up today. But we do need some eye primer on. I've already got my foundation on. I'm, using, I'm wearing CoverGirl, and I've done my uh, brows and my under eyes. So all I need on my eyes is just a little bit of this. I like, I like this color that I'm about to use. I think it's going to be fun, okay? I really do. Now, I need to set this. I'm always the person that I don't like it to be tacky. So I'm going to set it with a little bit of it. We're going to use it's here. You see my baby back there? Yeah, well, my mama's baby. She's my baby now. She's over there sleeping. It's kind of a dreary day here. Really, it's, it's cold. Sun's kind of coming in and out, but mm, not my kind of day. I'm not a cold weather person. I like summer. <laughs> it's spring here, though. It's beautiful as far as that. But... I just ready for it to get warm, not like super hot, but just warm. So nice warm breeze would be nice. Okay, so that is set now, and now we're ready. So the first thing I am going to do, I am going to use a little powder though. I'm not going to do everything with the lipstick. So I think we'll use this palette here. I've been using it quite often. I really do love it. It's a quad palette by Unique perfect colors now this also comes in three other colors and the rose gold one is on its way to me i can't wait to get that one. Oh, okay so i'm going to use just a little light color i'm going to use this brown out of here you're going to need a nice little brush not too big a brush i think i will use this one here this is a good one to use now i'm just going to kind of tap into it like that Ding. and tap off and where i want to do is i want to look straight on uh, into the mirror and when I look straight on into the mirror I'm gonna put a dot there and a dot right here okay that's where my shadow needs to be for you to be able to see it but this is just going to be like a wash of color and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put it all over my lid but I wanted to get it up high enough so that it worked okay so here we go let's just put it all over the lid I know exactly how far up I need to go and you know both eyes are not the same both of my eyes are not the same so i do compensate for one side this one's more downward turned than the other can you see it and this one's not i don't know why that is um i guess this is the way god made me but we are going to this is we're playing i hadn't done this <laughs> i hope it works out i do i did it the other night on the fly so it worked out pretty good i was really stressing that but uh it did turn out it turned out really cool so there's that color all right we are going to come back and use some other colors out of this i do like the shiny color in it and so i do want to use that now the next thing we're going to use or what she used in this video was really cool i'm i've got two lipsticks here so i'm going to use this is the one i used the other night it's like a dusty rose and then we're going to use this one which i did not use the other night <laughs> which is a brown. Okay, so I think I'm going to apply this first because I know exactly where this goes, kind of, sort of. But I am going to mix the two in together instead of it being just one color. So we are going to put it, I want to make sure I get it right on the deal. We are going to put it here, and we are going to put it here. We are going to blend all that out, of course. We are going to put it here and here. Mm, wow. It's so cute when it gets done, though. Now, on my nose, she did it on her nose. So, I'm going to put just a tad on my nose. But I'm also going to use the brown here, okay? I'm going to use the brown. <laughs> it looks so funny. 
<laughs> Gotta laugh at it. Laugh with me. Yeah. Okay. And I'm trying to remember where else she used it. She did it down her nose, her whole entire nose, but I won't do that. I'm going to use the brown there. Um, and I want to use the brown here. So I might could put, I could put a little bit down here. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin. Okay. I think that'll be enough of that color because I've really got to blend all this out. And this is lipstick. Okay. It's a very, this is a matte and this is a matte. They're both mattes. So for this color, hmm, let's bring it down my nose tad. This is like a brownish rose color, I think you would say. I like a little here. I put on my hottie. That's why my lips are like they are. <laughs> and I am going to put it some under here because I think that might be pretty under there. Uh, and let's do it right here. And where else? Could I, I am going to put it on my eyes. Okay. But I'm trying to decide, do I want to use a brush first to apply it? Or do I just want to draw it? Well, she actually drew it. So I'm just going to draw a little bit right through here. And I'm bringing it up, upward, just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And if you have downward turned eyes, kind of like me, um, this is great for you. You could use this. This stayed on. It was so cute. I, I kind of sort of did it the next day also. But you see what I'm doing. It's blending it out. Blending it out is key here. So she used a smaller brush. I think I'm just going to use, I like these brushes here. I like these. I will show you everything in the description box. I'll have all the, I'm not going to go over all these numbers that I'm using <laughs> with these, or I'll just put them on the screen as it, as it comes up. So this is a lot to think about, girlfriend. It is. Now, I'm going to blend this part out here just lightly. Now, this is just a little, a dense brush, but it's kind of oblong. I like the shape of it. It's great for this right here. Kind of pushing this into my skin and just bringing it upward and outward. And remember now you can blend out anything. You can. You can come back and blend that out. And you can use your beauty blender to do that with. This is trial and error, and it's a lot of fun. I think it's, when we get done, you're going to really like it. Because when I got done the other night, I was really skeptical, and it turned out pretty good. I was shocked. I'm like, wow, that really did it. See how pretty that is? Now, up here, I'm just going to blend it with my finger. Finger sometimes is your best tool. And let's see, where else did I have? I have the brown here. Now, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender on this. Now, here, I need to use the brush. We're going to use the brush here. And bring it all the way up to your brow. All the way up to your brow. That's what Wayne Goss says, do. It actually makes it look more uniform. Uh, and I did learn this from Wayne. I watched him a long time. And I still watch him. I do, religiously. I do. I like to watch what he does. He gets me tickled. And I like that. <laughs> I wish I could meet him. That would be awesome, awesome. I don't know whether I want to put any brown down here or not. Let's go ahead and blend out the pink, okay? The dusty bows. Now, this was pretty. I did like this the other night. I like the, the way it looked. Now, you might say, oh, that's too pink. But wait, trust the process, girl, because what's going to happen is, yeah, it's going to look pink. But when you come back and add your powder, it softens everything just so pretty. <laughs> so don't count it out. And I'll list you know, what I've used, of course. But push this up into your hairline. You definitely want to do that. Exactly what I'm doing there. And I'm sorry you see my scar from my rig. Yeah, I had a rig and I hit the... Yeah, that's how I wound up with a pacemaker. If you're new here, I do have one. I just, you know... <laughs> try not to show... It is right here. There's a little bitty scar right there. It's It's been a while, so it's not something new. But if you're new here, yeah, I have one. According to what they've said, it hasn't had to do anything. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll go back next week and they check it next week, next Tuesday. Okay. So let's get started with this. Now, hmm, I think I'll start with the bottom and we'll just blend up. Because I think that's the best thing to do. Now, make sure you don't come past, pretty much past here. I came a little bit too far. But I can blend it out. And I'm going to push it up this way. Let me close my eyes. Sometimes when I close my eyes, it's like, okay, it's going to come together, girlfriend. It is. This is kind of cool. Now, push it 
on up into your hairline. Now come over here and let's do this side. Yes, ma'am, you got two sides, like you got two eyes. It has been a long week. Um, I'm just ready to relax a little bit. Uh, did go watch my granddaughter this morning, her first uh, game of volleyball. She's very short like me, so <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, she, she's just short. Let me just say that. But she's learning. She's learning. And I, I played volleyball, but I did not play it. Um, I was a cheerleader, kind of, you know, I did that. But I like to, you know, play volleyball only at PE or whatever. And it was fun. It was fun. Now, I didn't like playing against the boys because they could be mean. But <laughs> they want to, like, spike it. <laughs> I just move out of the way when that happens. So let me blend this in down here. You know, I want a little sculpted neck. So what I use was NYX. It's my WSOR1. I do love it. It's a cream. It's like a, uh, it's not like bronzy, but it's like a taupey color, which is better for me. If you have uh, pink undertones, you'll probably like it as well. Oh, that looks really nice. Now, we got to finish out my eyes. Um, and I got to figure out what I want to do with that. So let me go grab some things. And let me figure out what I want to do with the eyes. I think I want to make it a little sparkly, um, a little more bright. And then we'll finish out everything else. Okay, I've decided what I want to do. I'm going to take a brush like this. This is like an It's Cosmetic brush. I've had it forever. And we're going to come into this palette. We're going to take the light color right there. And what I'm going to do, not really pack it on. Now this palette, let me tell you something about this palette. This is powder. But it's... It's kind of like a creamy powder, so when you use it, you don't really have any fallout. So that's wonderful. That's the reason I love this. And I do use this one quite a, quite a bit. I have really fallen in love with how easy it is to use. <laughs> and so pretty much, even if I kind of sort of do some other things, I will come back and add maybe one or two of the colors out of this to mix with something else. So I really like it. You can throw it into your purse, too, with your touch-ups. You never know when you need a touch up. True. See how pretty that is? Oh, I just love, I love makeup. I love y'all to hang out with me too. It's fun. It is. It's fun. Now, you know what I think I might do really quickly? Oh, that looks great. Look at that. Now, we're going to add a little bit of shine to this. And I'm going to grab, I want to, I want to add a little bit more of that lipstick. For some reason, I'm thinking about it. And not this one. I want the dark one, okay? I want this one here. Hmm. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to grab a brush. It's probably going to be that brush I just used a few minutes ago. This one here. No, not that one. I'm going to use, I think I'll do that oblong one. I think that would be the one I want to use. This one here. This one would be great. See that? Perfect. And just take a little bit of this if you're scared of actually drawing it on your face. Then what I'm, gonna, I'm just going to darken this just a tad because I really want some definition in that area and I want to blend it up just a tad. You see how you can see it better? I like that. No one will ever know unless you tell them that you have lipstick on your eyes. It's like using cream, really. I mean, typically it is. This is a matte. I don't know that I would use a shiny color, but I would definitely use a matte. You can try it. Try it with what you have. If you like these colors, you can just, you know, I'll list everything below. And you can definitely get these. And the cool thing about this is we had primer. We did powder. And this is going on top of powder. So I did the test on it the other day, and it did not crease. So that was really, really nice to know. But we are going to, I'm going to curl my lashes I'm going to add a little bit of a liner, and then we will finish this up. All right, I've decided to use a black liner. This is a pencil liner. It's unique. And what I'm going to do is tight line, like under here. Yes, I don't want to, I don't want to add it to my lid. I just want that darkness there. You see the difference? And do the same thing over here. And if you're like me and you can't, you know, Sit there and do it like this. I can't do it like that. I can't. I've even stuck myself in the eyeball. 
and that would not be fun. <laughs> it would not. Let me put the top back on this. So see, that's the only place I'm going to use that. But however, I'm going to use this pixie. I do love it. Now this is like a black brown, it's like cocoa or something. I think that's what they call it. I'll list it below. But what I want to do is just a little bit of liner here. Just for a little drama mama. And this is very creamy. So if you have older eyes and your, your lids move around, you'll love this. Because you can blend it out with just a brush. And that's what you want to do. You want, or your finger. You could use your finger. I wanted to go ahead and get this on before I put the shiny on. That was the whole thought process. So I, I'm going to do that. And let me see. Do I want to blend it out a little bit? I guess I could. Um, let's just use this brush here. I don't know. This is a Morphe brush. I'm just going to kind of blend it. And I just grabbed it because there's only one sitting there. See how that looks? Oh, yes. This is very creamy and very blendable. Okay. And if you want to and you want to set it just a little bit, you could definitely take some setting spray like this. You could spray the end of the brush like that. And then tap it. Tap it across it just like that and it will set it and you won't have anything melting onto your face later on during the day depending on where you are in the country <laughs> you might be hot I don't know um I just like to do it anyway so you don't have that fallout and then it doesn't move around on you either look at that now y'all know I always use quadra of uh, mascara and that's exactly what i'm going to use i'm not going to do this i'm not going to bore you with this so i'm going to put this on and when i come back we're going to finish everything up oh girlfriends this is looking so good i am going to take a little bit more of this i decided that i would just grab a little bit more of it same brush and i am going to kind of fluff it here but i'm also going to bring it up this way i just want to see what that looks like up through here this is how you learn you play girlfriend play 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 i love to play with makeup it's been one of my passions forever i think ever since i was like i was real fascinated with it about 10. <laughs> my mom had gin so much dub i swear i'm gonna blend this out under here just a little bit oh i like that now i'm using lipstick here so Girl, go try it. That's all you can do. Oh, that is so pretty. I like that. All right. So this is what I want to do. I want to go ahead and do a lippy. I don't want my lip to be brown, though. However, I'm going to use these two colors here. This is Brooklyn Thorn. This is NYX. This is Maybelline Gone Grish. So I'm going to use Brooklyn Thorn first on my lips. And I'm just going to come right across here. This is such a pretty uh, look. And I'm going to put a little light in the center. I really like this color. Um, I want to say I got it at Walmart. I'm sure you could go on NYX, you know, online. And, and you could probably get it there. I'm assuming they still have it. I love it. I got this one not too long ago. So they should still have it. I got it in Ulta. So, some of them though, I got, I did get in Walmart. Walmart. Y'all call it that. Some people here in the South call it Walmart. So you go into the Walmart? Yeah. No. <laughs> I've never called it that, but I've heard people call it that. So blend all this through here. Oh, girl. And then I kind of go right over the Brooklyn Thorn and just kind of line. Oh, my gosh. This is such a pretty color. It is. I, I do have some nicks on the way. I used to love... Um, a NYX color called Need Me. And one of my friends, uh, Claudia, found it. And she said, girl, go get it. So I did. <laughs> I did go grab me. I think I got like three of them or two of them. No, I got two of them. I don't know if I want to do well-to-do or minted. Minted is a really pretty pink. And I do like it if I can find it here. Let me see. Well-to-do. Let me see. Is this minted? No. Um... Let me find it, girl. I told you I'd find it. I did find it. This is it. <laughs> this pink. It's like a baby pink. It's really pretty. And it's pretty in the center. 
I like to put it only in the center. See how that does? Ogre, you know, got some ombres. I just think it looks, I'm wearing brown. We got brown. I just think pink and brown look pretty together. I really do. I think it's like gorgeous together. So look at that. <laughs> this is the, this is, um, I don't, I think this is a matte. Or it's a creamy. It looks like a matte though when I got it on here. It doesn't look like really shiny, shiny. Oh, but it is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Now, the only other thing that I think I might do, I've got to do, I've got to do a little bit of powder. So we're going to use Laura Mercier. And I'm going to use it with a beauty blender. So drop it in here, just like that. And I like to put some here on the side, some here on this side. And I like to pop it here in the center and maybe right across here. And I just like to leave it for a few minutes, just not long. And then I come back and I just blend it all out with a brush. I just think it's the prettiest way I have found to get it set without using a whole lot of powder. And that's the whole reason I like it. So we will, I'm going to let this set for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back. We're going to blend it out. And we'll be totally done, girlfriend. All right, we're almost done. I'm going to use a little bubble balm. This is Revolution's bubble balm. I love it. It's This one is uh, so pretty on your skin. It's not so super, super bright, you know, but it just gives this nice little glow to your skin. Now, one other thing I'm going to do, which I love also, because this is rose gold and this is rose gold. So Revolution is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorites and I keep forgetting. I tell myself every day to order it. I can't seem to remember to do that. There's so much going on in life right now. So let's shake it up. This has particles in it. You don't see it? See that goodness in that girl? And it's so fun to wear. And it smells divine. I mean, it does. I need to go ahead and blend this out, though, first. I need to, well, you know, because I only blend out this part right here. I don't really bring it up any higher than that. So we are going to let all that set that we put. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. I do love this look. It is absolutely gorgeous. Spray it, and then we're going to dab it, and we're going to set where we put the bubble balm. Yes, all over. And then you're setting it right in the center. It does have a little sheen to it. That's why I like to put the bubble balm first and then this over it. It just is so pretty. Okay, last thing we're going to do is spray it. Just like that. I say that's the last thing. i got one more thing to do. Okay, we're finished as far as the face goes. Remember, I'm looking at this, and I think I really do want that little shimmer right above my eye there. So I am going to take this color right in here, this, this shiny one, and we're just going to pop it. I'm not going to pop it all the way in. I'm just going to pop it right here. That's the only place I really think I want it. Just to give it a little, oh, yeah, that does. That does make it pop a little more. Girls. See, when you play with makeup, you learn what you like, what you don't like on your face. I just love it. It's so much fun playing with it. It really is. I'm doing this and I have nowhere to go. <laughs> I may get my hubby to take me out to dinner. How about that? I can do that. He'll do that for me. He's gone. At the moment, I am home alone with dogs. That's it. Yay! That never happens for me. Okay. What do you think? Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes. You can see exactly what I did. I will list everything below, and I think you would really love this. It's so simple and easy, and we use lipstick on our eyes. Yes, ma'am, we did, and look how good it looks. It's really pretty, and when you go back, you can feel it. It's very touchable, and it's not tacky or sticky. Yay! Winning. I hope you try it. Try it with what you've got or get some of the things I've used today. But please like and share and click that notification bell. I love it when you come and hang out with me. I know I'm crazy. I'm a Southern girl. Um, it's just the way we are. You know, it just is. And I do sound Southern. <laughs> I don't pretend. It is actually my voice. Mm, yes, I know. Oh, I like it. All right. I will see y'all next week. 
And if you if there's anything you would like for me to touch on, please put put it in the comments. I can't talk either. Um, it's just beautiful outside, and I got to look in, and I'm like, I need to go outside for a little bit and let it sit in the sun just a tad, just let it warm my back. And but please put something in there that I can do for you. I would love to do that. I'm a Southern girl, and we love makeup here in the South. We definitely do. So I will see y'all next week. Have a great one.